right, folks, it's uh, been a while since I posted on the uh, video blog, so I thought I'd uh, do a quick uh, recap of the up and coming battle. Um, as we left it last time, the French have called the battle in the, this quarter of the uh, Game of Squares game board. Um, they occupied uh, the first corpus uh, in this area here, and the second corp was across the other side of the road. And they were awaiting a, a third corp to move in on the uh, flank of the coalition troops. Coalition troops themselves had uh, set up, uh, the Prussians were straddling this road with a large cavalry contingent in uh, the woods. Uh, the Austrian corp had uh, manoeuvred into this area here with a small um, cavalry contingent on their uh, left flank. Um, that's pretty much it how we left it and uh, so I'm going to move the action now onto the uh, main wargaming table. Um, back soon. Hi folks and uh, back again. Uh, I've now moved all the action onto the uh, wargaming table itself and um, we'll uh, have a look at the coalition troops first. Um, over in this section we have the uh, small Austrian uh, cavalry contingent with a couple of uh, bases of uh, Border Grand's infantry. And the mainstay of the uh, Austrian army is made up of one, two, three infantry divisions with a large uh, artillery uh, batteries in support. Uh, moving across we have the uh, Prussians with one, two, three divisions of infantry and the large cavalry contingent uh, in the wooded area guarding the flanks. If we move over to the uh, French and their allies uh, we have the mainstay of the uh, first French Corps and if we move across we have the uh, other French Corps and uh, the guys that uh, look like they're standing around in snow are actually the uh, Saxon division. Uh, I've only just rebased these guys, so I uh, haven't quite got around to uh, painting the uh, bases green, but um, <laughs> they'll do. And if we move over a little bit, this is the road where the third French corp is going to be moving into and uh, generally giving the um, coalition troops a heart attack when they arrive. Um, take a quick swing closer look at uh, the forces. majority of the uh, French are made up of um, the French troops themselves. There's a smattering of um, allies, uh, but pretty much all French, apart from the Saxon Brigade as we come gliding across the Saxon uh, cavalry. The French are very low on cavalry in this uh, campaign so they've suffered <clears throat> quite badly from the uh, coalition forces having a lot of cavalry and a lot of scouting uh, not that it's helped them out much on this uh, scenario because they're about to <laughs> get an awful surprise uh, these are the um, Saxon cavalry made up of uh, Lanvier and uh, regular cavalry um, this is a bit of a close-up of the Prussian mainstay of the infantry, uh, made up of uh, Lanvier regulars and guards and reservists, and another wodge, shall we say, of uh, Prussian, Prussian infantry. Move over to the Austrians. Uh, the Austrians are in their early uniform with helmets. Um, just. Uh, that's how they came out, so I bought them and made a bit of a mistake when I ordered them many years ago. Um, but uh, they'll do. And uh, move across uh, more Austrian infantry, moving over onto the uh, cavalry contingent. And um, so yeah, there you have it. Try and get a wider shot as I can, because a bit limited for space here. Um, across the battlefield. There you go. Um, so it's time to roll some dice so um i'll get back to you uh, shortly hi folks and uh, 
for the uh, game itself I'm going to be using uh, Morale Napoleon uh, Grand Tactical Rules by uh, Two Hour Wargaming and uh, this is uh, the end of the uh, first turn's movement uh, not a great deal of movement to be said but um, the uh, Austrians are already moving across uh, their plan is to um, engage this section of the French Corp um, to an extent that hoping that they'll weaken their uh, very strong centre. Um, at that point, uh, the uh, rest of the Austrian court will engage the uh, town itself, uh, hopefully drawing even more French troops across, at uh, which point the uh, Prussians will then engage the um, other French court. Uh, obviously unbeknown to them, the uh, there is another French court coming down this road um so yeah <laughs> it should be interesting um the french corp itself will be appearing uh at the beginning of turn three um basically there's um two turns on the uh, war gaming table to one turn on the um game of squares game board so um that's uh that's it for turn one and uh i'll uh come back at the end of turn two back again at the end of the uh, movement of turn two and um, other than some uh, sporadic artillery fire the Austrians are moving in uh, quite quickly uh, the French are quite happy just to sit and uh, wait because obviously they're waiting for the court movement up here um, so the Austrians are moving quite quickly the only other bit is the Austrians have moved up their uh, battery um, they're going to start pounding the village as much as they can to uh, soften up the French for their main assault. Um, at the moment, all going well for the uh, coalition forces. And uh, I'll see you uh, at the uh, end of turn three. And uh, back again, and uh, this is um, halfway through the uh, movement of uh, the uh, third turn and the um, Austrians are pretty much moving up, they're about to make contact, uh, there's been sporadic uh, musketry fire and artillery fire from both the French and the um, Austrians and uh, the battery has been pounding away for a full turn on the uh, town itself, um, not doing that much damage but uh, yeah, inflicting some casualties and uh, we look right over the far end of the table, the um, lead elements of the uh, fourth corp under Bertrand is uh, moving in and uh, giving the uh, coalition forces a heart attack um, uh, the lead element is the cavalry division uh, which is made up of uh, allied um, cavalry from Wittenberg um, from Hessian and Westphalian as well so uh, there's going to be uh, a bit of a casual t a bit of a cavalry uh, engagement over in that far corner because you can see the Saxon um, cavalry are also moving up to uh, engage as well and um, add their weight to the allow the French court to move in as quick as possible breaks through, through the uh, Prussian cavalry which are just about to engage them um, I'm going to leave the uh, video now for there because uh, once I've added all the bits together, it's going to be quite a long video and it will take ages to download. So um, this will be the first instalment of the battle and I'll um, load this one up and uh, I will get back to you with uh, instalment number two. Um, as always, thanks for watching and I uh, hope you're enjoying the battle. It's uh, going to be a large one. It's pretty much my entire collection <laughs> of uh, six mil other than the uh, British corpse that I have. And um, yeah, um, be back soon as always. Thanks for watching and uh, bye for now.